What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Lego Fortnite and this is an absolute blast to play. Now this was something that I was not expecting when I first downloaded uh, you know, Fortnite years ago to ever see Lego being brought into the game and being pretty much a total separate survival game on its own. And this was a really su big surprise to me at how enjoyable it is. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet i hope you consider subscribing i'm just going to talk about a few things in the game that kind of stood out to me after playing lego fortnite for just a couple days but there is a lot to this game and in my opinion a lot that can be added to this game to make it even bigger and right now this thing is boasting some serious player numbers because people are really enjoying this and like i said it was kind of a shock to me First of all, it is free to play. It was just released on December the 7th of 2023. So if it's something that you were kind of worried about, you know, is it going to be easy to get into? It's not been out that long. They're still, you know, working on the game, uh, tweaking things, you know, fixing bugs and stuff like that. The game's not been out that long, so it's definitely something you could hop into and really not be behind at all. All of, uh, you know, platforms is pretty much available on PlayStation. All of PlayStation, Xbox, consoles, Switch, Android. Amazon Luna, you pretty much can play this on anything. It is like if you're a Minecraft fan, Minecraft meets Lego and pretty much put inside of a Fortnite world with the Unreal Engine. It is amazing when you get in there how good it looks to be, you know, a game like Fortnite. You know, you're used to those blocky kind of pixelated images uh, with Minecraft. And now you have something that is, that looks this good, uh, which is the same kind of concept game that Minecraft is, but just on a scale, like I said, in the Lego slash Fortnite world. And it looks absolutely amazing, and it plays absolutely amazing. The one thing I will say is combat is a bit clunky for a survival game, but a lot of survival games that are kind of in this uh, genre are kind of clunky feeling. But overall, it looks really good. Um, you pretty much can build anything you want. I do think building needs some work. It feels a bit clunky at times, uh, but it is something that is very interesting because you're pretty much building in the world with Legos. So you can just build whatever you want with your Lego pieces. And there's already been some crazy, crazy uh, builds out there posted on the internet that people are, are making. So it is a lot of fun if you're a fan of building. You can play survival or you can play sandbox. You have a choice to play the survival game, which is pretty much your you know, normal survival style game like you would think of when it comes to Minecraft. But you can, of course, set your settings to how you want that to work, whether you want the weather to affect you for being cold or hot, whether you want to have hunger, whether you want enemies to be out there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different settings that you can tweak with the survival game uh, if you want to tweak a few things. Or you can just go in sandbox mode and have an unlimited amount of building supplies and pretty much build to your heart's content and literally build any and everything that you could want. So if you're a fan of just building and just kind of being that, uh, I guess you would say, person that's just going to go out and find the wildest, craziest thing they can build, uh, you know, build-wise, you can do that in the sandbox mode and just do anything and everything that you would want. And I think that's going to be a big appeal for a lot of people because some people may not want to play just survival or some people may want to tweak the way survival is played or some people may want to play just sandbox and just build and not have to worry about finding materials or anything like that. You can just go in, have an infinite amount of materials and build whatever you want. And the last thing I kind of would say about this, it is definitely one of the better survival games out there right now. And I think if handled correctly, this could eventually pass Minecraft, and yes, I did say that. That's something I never would have imagined to say, and I never would have imagined years ago when Minecraft first released that it would be where it's at today. I never really expected it to blow up like it did. And the way this game is kind of trending, the way the game is kind of going, the way that Epic could really uh, work on the game and improve it, it has pretty much the highest ceiling of any game on the market right now. They could really do a lot with this game to make it explode even more than it is right now and that's saying a lot considering the millions and millions of people that are playing it since it has been released and i think if handled correctly if updated correctly they keep adding things 
kind of like they do with regular Fortnite. You know, there's a lot of things added to Fortnite over the years since it's been released. And if they continue to add those things into Lego Fortnite and continue to update the games uh, just in general, Fortnite in general, and all of this stuff, you know, is kind of, you know, going to the regular Fortnite game and Lego Fortnite with all the content that is available there. Like I said, I think this game could definitely surpass Minecraft. And if you have not tried it yet, I would highly recommend trying out Lego Fortnite because it is an absolute blast. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.